For decades, teams have followed the same bullpen formula. Save your best reliever for the ninth inning. The idea? You need a closer to seal the win. But what if I told you the most important outs of a game don't always happen in the ninth? More and more, teams are shifting away from the traditional closer model and focusing on a leverage-based bullpen management system, deploying their best relievers in the game's most critical moments, whether it's the sixth, seventh, or eighth inning. In this video, we'll break down why the traditional closer role exists, what leverage index tells us about game-defining moments, and how the best teams are using relievers differently to maximize wins. Let's get started. For most of baseball history, teams didn't have dedicated closers. Relievers were used in any tough situation, but in the 80s and 90s, the save statistic became the gold standard for measuring relievers' success. Managers started saving their best bullpen arms exclusively for save opportunities, a three-run lead or less in the ninth inning. Closers like Mariano Rivera or Trevor Hoffman thrived in this role, racking up hundreds of career saves. The game evolved to prioritize accumulating saves over maximizing those relievers' impact on the game. But while this strategy worked, it came with one major flaw. It wasn't always the best use of the team's top reliever. So what is Leverage Index? Leverage Index is a stat that measures how important a specific moment is in a game. It takes into account the run differential and base out state of every situation throughout a baseball game and assigns a score to each of those events. Low leverage, a LI below one, it would be something like a three run lead in the ninth with no one on in two outs. The expected change in win expectancy in this situation is pretty stable. Medium leverage then would be right around one. Your team is down one run in a game in the six with a runner on first base. This is a pretty neutral situation where a hit in this situation could change the win expectancy for the team currently batting or a double play can neutralize that threat. Then there's high leverage, a LI above two, a one run lead in the seventh with bases loaded and nobody out. There are a ton of outcomes where the batting team could take the lead here. So you'd consider this a high leverage situation. None of this is new, but we now have a way to quantify what is high leverage and what is low leverage. But why does this matter? Saving your best reliever for the ninth has a chance that your best pitcher may pitch in a low or medium leverage spot. Meanwhile, a lesser reliever may be facing the game's biggest moments earlier, which could potentially cost their team the lead before the ninth inning even arrives. Teams use this information to try and utilize their relief core in specific high and low leverage situations. Your better relievers need to face the heart of the order in high leverage situations, while your lesser relievers can get away with facing easier matchups with the bottom of the order in lower leverage situations. The traditional closer model assumes that the most important outs happen at the end of the game, and that a team's best reliever should only pitch in save situations. But this thinking ignores our leverage index. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. First, the danger of low leverage saves. Your closer enters with a three run lead in the ninth. Your leverage index is about 0.8. They face the bottom of the opposing order, which isn't really a real threat. Meanwhile, in the seventh inning, a lower tier reliever faces the heart of the lineup with no one out and bases loaded, which would be a leverage index of over three. That seventh inning moment determined the outcome of the game more than the ninth inning did. Another more specific example, you can think back to the 2017 Cleveland Guardians and their use of Andrew Miller. The Cleveland Guardians, then they were the Indians, revolutionized bullpen usage by using Andrew Miller as a fireman reliever. Instead of a traditional closer, Miller came in whenever the most dangerous hitters were due up in high leverage situations, even if that was in the 5th or 6th inning. He was so dominant that it carried Cleveland to a World Series. This approach challenges the traditional closer role, and more teams are starting to catch on. The best modern teams are prioritizing leverage over saves. Examples of teams using fireman relievers include the Tampa Bay Rays, who frequently deploy their best relievers in critical mid-game moments often using bulk relievers instead of a set of closers based on matchups. The Astros used Ryan Presley in non-save situations when the game was on the line. And the Dodgers often avoid designating a single closer, opting for matchup-based high leverage decisions. Rather than saving a dominant reliever for the ninth, teams are using them in whatever moment could decide the game. And that is more crucial to winning more games than your typical reliever-closer setup. So, 
Teams now build their bullpens around leverage instead of traditional roles. High leverage relievers are used when the biggest moments in the game occur. You also have your matchup based approach, using lefty ready splits and platoon advantages to best maximize the output from your relievers. And teams also need to make sure that they avoid overusing their closers. Keeping top relievers fresh instead of forcing them into the ninth inning only roles allows them to bounce back better. Instead of one set closer, teams are using multiple elite arms interchangeably based on that situation. Speaking of modern pitching strategies, have you checked out PitchLogic? It's a smart baseball that connects to your phone and provides real-time data on spin rate to see how your pitches generate movement, velocity tracking, which measures speed instantly, and your release point mechanics improving consistency and command. If you want to check one out for yourself, use code SIMPLE for $25 off at checkout. Whether you're a pitcher looking to refine your game or an analyst breaking down bullpen usage, PitchLogic gives you the data teams rely on. The ninth inning isn't always the most important. Sometimes the game is decided long before then. Smarter teams understand that leverage index is key, deploying their best relievers in the most game-changing situations and not just when the ninth inning rolls around. Does this mean the traditional closer role is dead? Not entirely. But as teams evolve, we're seeing bullpens built around flexibility, matchups, and leverage, and that's leading to smarter, more effective bullpen management. And hey, if you'd like to support Simple Saber Metrics, check out our merch. You can find it on our website or in the store tab right here on the channel. Every purchase helps us bring you more deep dives into baseball stats and analytics. If you enjoyed this breakdown, check out the videos on the end screen now. We've got more content on StatCast metrics, pitching analytics, and defensive runs saved. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week on Simple Saber Metrics.